G'day. In today's video, I'm upgrading the RAM inside of a Acer A515545-R67B, also known as Acer Aspire A515-45 series. Yep, if you can see that there, there we go. This particular model is N18Q13. While in there, I will also see what other upgrades are available for this machine. To get in there, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, which is pretty straightforward. And hopefully, we'll find out that most of these screws should be about the same length. So far, so good. Move that back up here. And being this one's a Ryzen or a Ryzen 3 5300U processor. I'm curious to see, it's not quite the base model. So it's a quad core eight thread processor. But I'm curious to see what other extras they'd put around it. So whether or not we can add another NVMe drive in here or a 2.5 inch SATA drive. Well, what else can be changed and repaired if need be? So with that removed, I'm just gonna grab here. I should be able to hopefully pull that up. I guess I'll give up and use my pry tool. Something like this or a bank card should also be able to do the job. Put in a gap. No, yeah. there. Working around the laptop. And bingo, we're now in. So now that we're in, we can really see uh, not too much. Looking over here, we have the daughter board. It's to USB, headphone. Very large volume of wasted space, which looking at the screw holes, looks like it might be able to have a 2.5 inch drive put there. Something looks like it's meant to go there, maybe even the battery, or this is just a different chassis and another model of laptop would have a board go here as well. Potentially that. And then the bottom we have the battery, which is a model AP20CBL. We have a NVMe drive over here on the right hand side, SK Hynix one. Now this does have eight gig of RAM, must be integrated into the main board on the other side, as we have this one free slot here. We look at it, if I can get there, we have a model number. Model number ZAUR. We have the single APU chip here. Going off to the cooler, the fan, which is replaceable. What I want to do before I upgrade the RAM or add to the RAM is disconnect the battery. So if I lift this up out of the way. Go. And this apparently does support 3200 megahertz RAM, so that's what I'm going to be putting in here. Pull the tabs on both sides a bit of plastic, pull towards me, and there we go, one disconnected battery. From here we have the RAM. I'm going to use some um, crucial 3200 megahertz, 8 gig. So then this will run in dual channel apart from the obvious signs of upgrading the RAM, we'll also get a nice little performance boost. Do have to take note of the little notch here and where the notch is down here. I'm gonna put it in on about a 45 degree angle and slide it forward until that gold bit is missing. So if I wiggle it back along here, push it in, we're hidden, push down, we're now in. To remove it, pull the two metal tabs away from each other should be able to flick it up like that. Bam, RAM is now upgraded. Really with the RAM, there's not much further that you have to do. Don't have to change the BIOS setting, don't have to do anything with Windows. The computer handles it all from there. Now if I connect the battery back up again. Do be careful not to try and go on an angle here as you may damage the pins or bend them. So I'm just gonna push it up close and then get a nail and slide it forward. There we go. This back over the top. And from here, the RAM has been upgraded. 
Sadly, we can only also upgrade the NVMe drive if need be, or if you're wanting to. You will have to do either a clone or a fresh reinstall of Windows to do that, as it doesn't actually support more than one. Next up from here, the back cover. And go back on. As I was saying about the hard drive, if I have a look here in the back, this here is typically a pad to, for a hard drive to sit up against so it doesn't vibrate. So a variant of this, actually, looking right here, and we have a small connector. You'd be able to get a daughter board which goes off and be able to plug in the hard drive just here. So you do have the option of upgrading to a 2.5 inch. Just this particular model doesn't come with the gear to do that. Or at least this second hand unit that I've got here does not have that with it. Very well from retail, it very well may, but this particular one does not. But I could potentially look online, purchase the parts off AliExpress or eBay, and from there I could add another hard drive inside here. Lastly, once the RAM's installed, battery's reconnected, we're right to put the screws back in. So from here it's just a matter of putting all these screws back in. I was just pinching down around the outside to clamp it all together. But once you've upgraded the RAM, I'm expecting a performance boost in most things of around maximum about 20%. I typically expect a performance increase of around 10%. So for example, if you were getting a game like, uh, let's say you were playing uh, Fortnite, for example, Fortnite loads graphic settings and you're getting, let's say, 40 FPS. At the moment, I'd expect with the RAM upgrade, even if it doesn't utilize the 16 gig of RAM, just because it's there, the two sticks, I'd expect it to jump up to about 44 FPS, maybe even 45 FPS if you're lucky, or 50 if you're really lucky. But Free performance, well, not necessarily free performance, but extra performance is also always warranted, even with a simple thing of upgrading your RAM. Anyway, I hope this has helped you guys upgrade your RAM, and hopefully you've successfully done that yourself. Um, it might take a little bit to turn on when you first hit the power button. It might take up to 30 seconds. Don't be too alarmed with that. Um, but hopefully, all good, all sweet, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.